So this is it, right? This is the mechanism, and it's it's actually pretty poo. And I'll show you it when it turns. Watch a bit further back. And it's 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 Barry White, but hey, we've just got it running on a 12 volt single battery. Everything else is fine. It's just that connection, and um, I managed to get get it to go up and down outside, up and down this bit, and it works. But it's not working. What's happened? I'll show you what's happened. You might not be able to see it very well, but these couplings here. The nuts have got a gap because there's a nut underneath there, right, which is trying to make it proud. And except for it isn't now, oh, right. But basically, these don't go fully all the way down, and so it can't fasten. So now it's loose, you see, it wobbles. And obviously, a small, <coughs> a small wobble down here. It's going to be pretty big when it gets up to there, and so it's no good. It was a good try, and it did get the torque of the motor worked because it, it powered the van, and it was quite gentle in actual fact in the movement on a 12 watt battery, which I did expect. I didn't expect it to be very powerful, but when we get all four batteries on, it's going to go. But we have to get the torque right. You see, I think the gear ratio is fine, but what I need to do now is this here is useless. Okay, you can see I strapped it up with elastic straps to get it central, and it did work. Obviously, it, went, it allowed for the mo vertical movement of the shaft, but it's just useless because it's it's uh, it's the most expensive and most powerful egg whisk you could ever see. <laughs> So what I need to do is either put this underneath there, right, down here, underneath here, and then actually line it up so that it's it's correctly lined up as if it's an engine. Maybe even take this one out, right, and put the motor in there instead. <coughs> Cut the whole floor out, which I can do. Um, or I need to have a... Uh, 90 degree crown wheel gear right so that I can actually have it on the top right now I can take the engine out right and then cut the rest of the floor up and then actually fashion it so that it's alongside where the engine was right that'll take ages to actually take the engine out it's easier day especially if I want to put it back in again right and then I can put the electric motor down there instead and to be honest, I think that's the 